Hey, what's up YouTube? Agent AA Toys here with another Funko Pop haul. Uh, this is what I picked up over the past weekend. Uh, I also have a box that will uh, unbox and I'll show you what I got. That was actually in the mail. Uh, everything though that you see in front of you is from Hot Topic and Barnes and Noble. Um, but with some newer releases, especially pertaining to what I collect, uh, definitely getting excited and there's some new releases coming out in the lines that I specifically collect and was able to grab a few of them this weekend. So I'll show you what I picked up and kind of tell you what I paid for them all so you guys know what to expect when you're going out and, and hunting and shopping for your own. Um, so you can see we'll start with Barnes & Noble first. That's kind of the first bag that you see there. So let's go ahead and show you what I got in there. And boom, there we go. So you can see here it is Bib Fortuna. And if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll remember uh, he is the kind of, I guess, servant to Jabba the Hutt. Um, and I believe, I wanna say it is the Return of the Jedi, um, the number six one, uh, number six movie. Uh, and so he is very cool and he was really elusive. I could not find him. He was the last one I needed to finish the series, the Star Wars series, so I have the rest of these that you see on the back there, um, but I could not find a bib anywhere and I was actually able to pick him up at Barnes & Noble, so um, I was happy to find him and, and grabbed him, of course, right away. And he was the only one I saw there, so I don't know what the deal is with him, and it could just be me, um, but he was kind of harder to find. So we'll go to the next Hot Topic bag. And there we go. So I'm starting to pick up some of the Harry Potter series now, um, as I know a lot of you are as well. And these are really, really awesome. I love these Harry Potter pops. I'm so glad they finally, uh, re Funko finally received the license to do these. Um, the, this one is Severus. Uh, you can see there in his black robe with his wand. I think they nailed him perfectly. I love the box art too, I love the Harry Potter. I'm glad they kind of went with the darker theme. Um, part of me kind of wishes they were kind of like that forest green color, um, but I like the I like the dark gray cloudy as well. It's kind of more of like the, you know, number five through seven movies. So you can see there the side art. And then there's all of the ones that you can collect. Okay, so we'll just keep trucking along here. So this, they gave me a huge bag, but pretty excited for this one. And here we go. Boom, I have Hagrid, Rubius Hagrid. He is, as you can see, a six inch pop, which is awesome and perfect fitting for Hagrid. Um, number seven in the Harry Potter line. Um, again, Harry Potter is its own line which is perfect because they're gonna be releasing a ton of these, I bet. So again, kind of looks like Snape's box. Um, love that he's holding his umbrella slash wand. Um, very, very cool. I always think of the, the scene in Harry Potter where uh, Hagrid turns, um, uh, is it Dudley, into a pig at the very beginning of the first one uh, when he's eating the cake. I love that and he uses that umbrella or I guess I should say his wand to do that. And I love that scene. So they, I think they hit Hagrid right on the nail with this sculpt. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, if you think they nailed it, if you wish they would have done something different with any of these really, um, but more specifically, I'm, I'm talking about the Harry Potter pots, but you're more than welcome to comment on any of the Star Wars ones as well. The next one I got is Ah, he who should not be named himself, Lord Voldemort. And he is awesome. Uh, again, I think they nailed it. I love his pose, love he's carrying his wand there. And I thought at first maybe they would do the uh, Elder Wand, um, but they do do his own wand there. Um, and I'm actually glad that they did that wand instead of the Elder Wand. I know my inner nerd is coming out right now. Um, but great, great sculpt again for him. Um, I mean, they just, they nailed it. Great job, and I, of course I had to pick him up. So we'll put him up there, okay? Um, and so that's it for what I was able to pick up in store. Um, again, I did get, and you can kind of see it back behind Hagrid, I did get in the mail 
Uh, something else from Hot Topic. Again, this is what I haven't had it picked up that I wish I would have a little while ago and was glad that he was still kind of available. Uh, so we'll open up this box and I'll show you. So they packed them fairly well, um, all things considered. Uh, <clears throat> so here we go. It is the Flocked Wampa. And very, very, was very excited to finally grab him. I've been wanting him for a while. Um, just, just never was on, I guess, my priority. And finally, you know, I had some hot cash and I said, what the heck, I want them. Uh, and so I finally grabbed them and uh, just grabbed them online during the SDCC um, buzz. And so I uh, was able to pick them up for a pretty good price, um, all things considered. So um, there, there you go. That is my pickup this past weekend and, and what I received in the mail. So uh, let's go over the prices that I paid real quick. Uh, so the flocked wampa I got with hot cash. So if you can do that, um, it, it significantly significantly drops the price. I believe he might have the price tag. Um, so he normally goes for twenty four fifty, and I think with my hot cash I got him for I want to say around eighteen bucks with shipping. So not bad at all there. Um, was able to pick him up for a decent price. Hagrid, um, I paid full blown the twenty four fifty, but then I did get Voldemort on for the half off because in their store they have uh, buy one get one fifty percent off. So Voldemort usually goes for twelve fifty or twelve yeah twelve fifty, um, and I believe you know obviously uh, six twenty five right. Uh, is what I paid for Voldemort. Uh, obviously, add tax on that. Uh, Snape, I paid full price, twelve fifty, and then Bib Fortuna. Uh, Barnes and Noble's pops are a lot cheaper than Hot Topic. Um, you can see there, eight ninety five. So that's what I paid for all the the pops. Uh, you can do the math on how much I spent this weekend if you want. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thanks guys. That's my video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm getting really close to 100 subscribers. So as soon as I hit that, I'll be doing a giveaway. So be looking out for that. Appreciate all my followers. Uh, be looking out for more uh, videos. I'll, I'll, I'm receiving some more SDCC stuff in the mail. I um, also have some uh, other uh, collection items that I'll be uh, show, showcasing here uh, in the next coming uh, week. So be uh, stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.